Let's see our next problem statement, problem 6. This problem says find all the customer that lives in Brownsville City in a tab delimited file and then save the result into HDFS. So in this question they are providing us with a tab delimited file and they are asking us to find all the customer that lives in some particular city. They have provided the input folder where we have to read those tab delimited files and then also the schema of the file. The schema of the file is like customer ID, then delimited by a tab and then customer first name, again tab and then customer city. So this is the schema of the file. Now let's read the output requirement. Output requirement says results should be saved in HDFS location given below and then out, output file should be save in, saved in the JSON format. Let's solve this question. In this question we will create a case class out of the schema file. After that we will read all the tab delimited file from this directory and then create a data frame out of it. So let's create a case class first of all. I'll say case class, name it as customer. There will be three fields. First is a customer ID. Let me take it as of a type string and then customer name, again string and then the city. This will be again of type string. So this will create a case class for us. So once this case class is created, let's read the data out of all the tab delimited file under this location. So I'll say sc.text file. Let me copy this location. So as you remember, sc is the Spark configuration object that was created by default when the Spark shell was open. So let me save it in a variable called customer data frame. Also on top of it I'll apply the map function to map to split each row with the tab. So I'll say x dot split because this is a tab delimited file so we need to split it by tab. Again I'll apply the map function to convert the RDDs of the string into RDDs of this customer case class. So I'll say convert each line into RDDs of customer case class. So I'll map the first column, zeroth index, the second column and the third column and then convert this into a data frame 2DF. So this will give me a data frame. Okay, it's coming with some error because I have typed the customer as wrong. So let me run this again. It's not customer, it's customer. So this will give me a data frame of this customer case class with this particular schema. So this has created this data frame. Let's see what is inside this data frame. I'll say show just to show you what it contains. Show five rows. Okay, you can see it has customer ID, name and city as expected, but this has all the customer that lives in all the cities. But the question asks us that we want to find all the customer that lives in the Brunsville city. So we have to apply the filter on top of it. So I'll say, let me name it, name it as filter df. I'll apply the filter function on top of this customer data frame. So I'll say filter all the customer that lives in city equal to let me copy paste this I don't want to do any typo and then paste it here so all this customer that lives in this city filter all those customer so let me see what is inside this data frame now it's not T I will show you five rows again so it should have now only the customer living in the Brownsville city. So you can see as expected we got all the customer that lives in this Brownsville city. Now the next output requirement is that we have to save this file in the JSON format. So let me save this file in the JSON format. I'll use the method write.json and then provide the output directory here. Let me copy paste this output directory and paste it here.
So this JSON file is written. Let's see under HDFS what is written under this JSON file. So I'll say HDFS, DFS, go to this location first of all. Let me copy it again. Okay, so let me copy paste and then see what is inside. So these all files are generated under this folder. It won't have that date.json uh, extension in the file. But when you will open the file, the format will be the JSON format. So let's open one of the file. HDFS, DFS, I can say tail and then copy the this particular file. So as you can see, this file is in the JSON format. These are the records of this file and it has the customer ID, name and city. So that was the end of this exercise.